The truth is that the real freedom is an inner freedom. So we talk here about inner peace and inner freedom because only this remains in long term. Some people want to change the world in a positive way and that is good, there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is they entangle in fighting. They fight for freedom, they fight for their rights and it's good that the mankind develop to this point now that in most places on this world there is freedom on the outside, on the surface, in the states, in the countries. Slavery is almost abolished worldwide, but we forget the inner slavery. We have lots of freedom outside in most countries, but we are still slaves of our egos, of our overthinking mind, of our mind wandering, of our negative thoughts. And this is the problem. These people which try to change the world, which try to make the world a better place and fight on the surface, on the outside, entangle in most cases even more in their ego, even if it does not look like that, because it seems like they are doing a good thing, but actually they are fighting. And the ego loves fighting and loves trouble. And that's the problem. So you are tangled with the ego, with your own ego, even more when you fight for your rights or freedom on the outside. And you make your personality even stronger with that because you say, I'm such a good rebel or such a good person doing all these good deeds. But behind that, of course, there is a good thought, a good purpose. Plato also generalized that all strivings from the people have basically detached to have a better life, to have a good life, to have fortune. Generally, in ancient times, they figured out that bliss, happiness, is the main target. But if humans still fight on the outside, they run away from their self, they run away from their own development. They want to influence and change others because they have certain attitudes how things have to be and how others have to be and to change.